都有另一个人。Now we kind of needs a boulder. He can easily stop、uh, Underlord Steepy. Plus they have a Curse Crown, which means that they're gonna steal a lot of damage from Underlord. Envy taking a little bit of damage there, but、General、also going to. Oh my、right. God! He ends up getting caught there by the Curse Crown, and General's just dead. You can use a TP right after he uses. So rarely happens that、uh, kind of crazy, and I guess no, not fully anticipating that as Abed using the Astro gonna have to TP away, but he is also gonna go down. So a couple of rare decisions here yeah, ends what, up being. What is going what, on? What, what's happening with the TP? It's in the mid lane and. Abed just looking for an opening there. Another shard. It blocks off the path completely. And、oh, Dendi just walking right at him. The stun is going to be there, but the rotation is coming in from Adam. They have the stun to follow it up. Hits on it too as well. Abed though very low. Can they bring him down in time? They're not going to be able to. LeBron finally kills off the OD, but it's after the SF falls. So LeBron also going to go down. Yeah, that, that actually it looks like mid lane again. People sort of getting a position. They have the roll to follow this one up in a second if they want to. But also the Tusk is there and the Snowball save. They're not going to hit on any of them. But Dendi may be still in trouble here as they're chasing forward for it. Envy moving into position. They get the Curse Crown stun and another kill on. I'm not sure. General wanted to find a go there on the DJ and actually DJ goes back and turns around and is just going to be killed off. So. They find that kill, Fnatic. The rest of the team a little bit late to the party. They are gonna actually go for the Dark Rift now. Adam trying to get the kill. They are gonna bring down Underlord. Keeping top. Envy. Right, Envy has no mana. He has a Mango and ten more charges, but he could be in a trouble right now. Yeah, they can block off the pathway as well. And now the rest of the team moving in. Fnatic. They're gonna just try to take down and steal away some of the damage, but it does look like they'll be able to escape. So. Navi bringing a lot of heroes. Now they know that this is a highly possible to get this kill. Now the banishment comes out, and Adam just going to be able to follow it up with the stun. Can get the secondary silence afterwards if he needs to. But Dendi already dead, and Fnatic just going to try and bully a little bit. Yeah, this this feels really weird. Like Navi chance start to come out. There is a chance as DJ has eyes on him, but. I guess、so、not quite that OP. Abed gonna be controlled. Pull back into the static storm. In some trouble, and he's gonna fall. So Navi, see if they decide to dive this. But there are other heroes from Navi sitting behind the tower. As General maybe trying to bait this out, they do manage to find the stun. The silence afterwards. He's force tapping away though. Universe still thinking about dropping that Chronosphere up on the high ground. Dendi is there. Hits a raise onto one. Universe jumps away though. And now Tusk very far forward and kind of in no man's land. LeBron gonna be taken down, so they're gonna lose two and the tower. Yeah, they should not turn. Now they're turning on to the Shadow Fiend since Adam was in the area, able to create that little bit of separation. Now, as the Tusk comes out, he's rooted, so he can't go for the immediate snowball. The lift up there onto Eternal Envy. Snowball to follow, crystallized, moving in as well, and starting to burn through this razor. A lot of trouble. Static Storm is down now as well. On to Adam. He's rooted, and they can't kill off the Shadow Fiend. They do finally get him. The secondary kick, Adam, able to take that kill. The Looks like down bottom, Dark Willow is gonna just throw a Curse Crown here onto Crystallize and maybe try and force something out. But this is just a rage. Adam is there. They're actually diving forward for this on the、oh, DJ and the kick, the silence, the turnaround, the magnetize, the fear, the bedlam. They're taking down at least one, and there's going to be the Chronosphere onto this life steal. It was beautifully played, and as he comes out of it, he does turn in time. Not tries to make it happen with the rage, but Envy going to find Adam there to tank the gank. They do realize he's in the area. The root is going to be there, and the snowball to follow. Dead old Earth Spirit. They take him down and going to be able to take the tower. Percentage, base damage plus a medallion on the life star. They know. They need to be careful though. Yeah, the terrorize coming out right at the start. They're going to be able to hit it. It does hit onto three, but Crystallize already has the Aegis. Now the Chrono Sphere connects onto three of them as well. Od might be able to tear through absolutely all of them. You can't pull people out of Chrono with Snowball anymore. And the chase is continuing. There, General going to die as well. And Bedlam coming out as well. LeBron probably going to fall. LeBron is dead. And Crystallize trying to turn and make anything of this that he possibly can. It's just not looking like they're going to be able to turn off the radiance before he jumped in. Yeah. So he's just going to make a run for it now, and wow, the glimpse to push him away, crystallize, looking like he might be okay here. As 
Envy gets the purge, the lift up with the Yules. He has rage when he comes out of this one. Still trying to run and slow down for the moment. They are going to start respawning on the rest of his team, but Stun a little bit off the mark. Crystallize again in trouble, but has the Aegis. And I think Fnatic might need to back out with this. As the snowball come in, they have a glimpse. Now Envy, they pull him back in yet again. Static Storm, Razor Control, and now going to TP in with the Shadow Fiend as well. They want to try and make this work. As Fnatic trying to escape the jump forward, the blink is there, the secondary raise, and they find themselves another kill. Three for Na'Vi. As Fnatic stuck around far too long. OD is uh, doing a good job keeping them alive with the Astrals, with the Force Staff also has a blink dagger, so he can. Now the reactions are coming. Yeah, that's Razor, really that's good. That's a good kill if they can get a hands on him. Oh, this is perfect. They anticipated it absolutely wonderfully, and Envy does not stand a chance here as he is going to start to fall down very low. The rotations in are taking a long time. Chrono Spear, though, it turns it around, but is it actually going to work? I don't know if they have any damage here. They're trying to run, and in fact, Adam need to get out of there as well. Abed, uh, all right. Now the ulti comes out from Dendi. It ends up being interrupted, and Abed going to fall. So that glimpse play... Adam going to drop as well. Beautiful from Nob. And might be a little bit late to the party. They did see Universe pass by. There was a Ward and Sentry Ward in the area as well. And now he's rooted inside the Pit of Malice. General there as well as Dendi pops the BKB. Turns to fight. Just going to blow up DJ Dark Willow out of it. And now Fnatic need to run. Universe trying to escape. He can still turn with the Chronosphere if he wants to. But in some trouble. There's going to be the Chrono. And now turning to try and take this fight. They actually have decided to focus in on Universe as they do take him down. But they lose the Shadow Fiend in turn. Yeah, nice silence uh, on the going tusks. For Envy also going to be rooted. Pit of Malice is there. They're going to have another glimpse up shortly, I believe, as well thinking about it, but it's like they might not have had it off the cooldown yet. And so with that, Navi just going to take the tier one tower. Fin four of Faces Void and the Dark Willow plus the tower. Heroes on the Navi side are getting strong. Oh, he missed the kick. Fanatic. They just keep on going in right now. And Envy is just running into everybody. He's going to try and take them down. Abed chasing as well. General, they pop out of this one. BKBs are out. Can they take these kills at all? It's not really looking like it. Crystallize also trying to run away. He does have rage available. Pops it off right as the ulti comes out. Now just going to TP away, but he still falls down. Envy able to get that kill. So if Trial finished, will give him the farm advantage. The game is pretty even right now, but he oh, can't flash universe. farm. And oh, good fight. Static Storm, though. Able to catch on the Universe there and keeping him inside. He's actually going to be rooted again. Can they find the kill? Snowball chasing, wanting to take him down. Walrus Punch as well. Does he get it off? He's not actually going to use it. Instead, lift up their Yule Scepter, trying to get out. It is going to be a dead Underlord. He's really tanky. Faces Void with the Strength Power Threads and the, the Point Boosters sitting on 1.5k HP up at coming in now as well. Faceless Void leading the way, and he does spot out the Lifestealer there, so Chase continuing. Has a jump if he wants to go for it. The jump forward, Chronosphere available. He pops it there, connects onto both of them. And Adam does have the follow-up after the fact. They're going to be able to find the stun. There's the fear. It's connecting onto two of them. That should be a dead life. So it's crystallized, trying to run away, but the Bedlam comes out, and he is gone. A huge pickup. Universe does it again. Universe was the problem, man. That sick Chrono. Two man, which... Did not yeah. And Lil just trying to escape. He's going to throw it on the connect field and run, but he is... Well, in some trouble. They're pulling back with the rest of the heroes now as well. Underlord going to turn now. They dropped the Static Storm maybe a little bit prematurely as he's able to get off the Astral Imprisonment and they can kill off Albad. Not really feeling like it's entirely possible. They have buyback right now on Dendi if they want to use it, and they might need to because they don't really have the damage and Envy stealing away the damage. In fact, they're going to be able to find that kill onto the Tusk and Na'Vi losing heroes inside their base. Shadowfin had the buyback, but uh, has Boots of Travel, so he can easily split push. Plus, you have an Underlord, which is a great uh, defense, and you can also try to push out the waves and uh, just TP out with the Dark Rift. Adam, they end up finding another round of heroes, and this is going to be another two dead. Disruptor and the Underlord, and that's a lot of their Adam With the Shadow Fiend, he's going to push out one wave. If they need to, they can Dark Rift, but they might need to get out of there pretty quickly. Lil, <laughs> always the greedy one, going to go for the Bounty Room, and we'll be punished. Case right now that Fnatic just like can't go for a high ground push. Do you do you think that this is like playing too careful right now? Is LeBron uh, likely to die here? No way out of it for that fella. I feel like they should 
try the siege. I mean, now that Aegis is gone, they're real probably happening at this game. Navi's Razor out again. Yeah, Razor just bought Boots of Travel level two. They're hiding. They find Lil and another support just gone for Navi. Crystallize going to rage TP away. He does manage to escape. Sends out his on Earth Spirit ninety on Willow. Tusk has 90 on his, but Disruptor is far away from level 20. They just want to give the farm to Disruptor as for the last little while now. Well, Roche capable to respawn right now. It looks like it's going to be a relatively quick one. And jump forward, Chronosphere. The Yule Scepter's there as well, but it caught on to two. That's just a dead SF. 100 seconds on the sideline. They find another one. Quistra is trying to run away. They do a buyback on these heroes right now, and Envy diving deep for it. Might end up being in trouble as well. He ends up getting hexed. They're chasing forward for more. Can they take him down? Refresher used on Abed as he backs away. Cheese is still ready and has heart. They glimpse back in Envy, pulling him in close, and now another, another drop forward. One. They get the Chronosphere, but it's not doing quite enough damage, and Dendi starting to burn through these other heroes, so Crystallize still alive. Mantis turns to run. They are going to be able to escape from it. They buy back on the Disruptor as well as LeBron, keeping away the rest of them, and Envy starting to fall low, but they still haven't been able to kill him they off as Envy. of yet. They're trying to take him low. Can they kill him off the glimpse? Another round of it. They get the Astral to keep him alive. Adam also going to be picking down low, and they do manage to take down Envy. Now also Abed in trouble, gonna be snowballed, gonna be killed. It cost them so Oh, he thought about throwing it there, but misses the mark. Roche just spawned, so that means uh, Navi will probably go for it, and Fnatic will need to use his uh, buybacks. Although they did just kill off the Tusk there, they will find the kill on the Dark Willux. It feels like this might be a bit bold of a play, but if they can find a pickoff here, it would be very, very solid. And Envy, the one who's walking forward, they got him caught right at the start, taking him down low. But Abed, he got off his BKB in time. And now trying to fight, takes down another one. Chronos is available, he hits it onto two. It's beautifully laid out there in general, trying to get his team away, but it's not going to happen. They left Dendi behind, and a Disruptor is gone as well. 80 seconds on the sideline. General trying to escape. And also Crystallize running away. Dendi back up, gets the blink away. Is he actually going to escape? Dendi, he's no, trying to get out of there. No, they got him. The banishment is there. And they're going to take down Dendi most likely. He had BKB up, but ends up falling. What a play from Abed. Pick off right now. You can see Navi saying, all right, we need to stop this from happening. And they're going to head down bottom, see if they can get a pick before these heroes get there. And there's the jump forward. Dark Willow starting to fall down low. They throw out the Lotus Orb, but you can't purge that off. And well, now Adam also trying to Radiant run away. Burn. They're actually trying to kill her off. Is it going to be enough? It is. They root NB, try and run away, and Navi take down the Willow. But still, 80 seconds without a Shadow Fiend. It's so hard for Navi to make this work. He needs to get close to he the... He doesn't have a TP. Yeah, close to the shop. Rage. Already making space. Extra, extra two seconds. seconds. It's and gonna he's be gonna enough. get out. Chronosphere, meanwhile, in the mid. And Abed manages to take the tower. They also kill off LeBron. So in the base, Battle of Bruin is fanatic. Trying to take down Crystallize. It's not quite gonna be there. They buy back on Dark Will. They know that they want to end the game right now. They're going for tier fours. He even placed the vision just to see where Lifestealer is. So Lifestealer has a buyback. Shadow Fin not for next three minutes. 50 seconds for him. That's going to be more than enough to take the take the throne. Now they do still have the Disruptor Ags and Crystallize. He's getting a lot of his damage soaked away as they're chasing away and trying to make this work. But Fnatic trying to end this game and it looks like they might just be able to do it. Rage about to be up, cool down the stack storm, but BKB comes out and be able to get it. But Abed didn't. He's starting to fall. Abed is going to end up he dying. Alright, he's buying back. Coming back into this one. They've got eyes on the prize. They're trying to take down the throne and it looks like it is indeed gonna happen. The buybacks were not there in game number one, 55 minutes in. Fnatic victory. What a game. Back and forth, back and forth. Him, Razor, Death Prophet. DK's better against Asada, right. because you have more armor. Could go lone Drew. So we won the DK. Rather, while the draft was going on, there's a really long time in between uh, Navi's first pick and their second pick, and it felt like there was a lot of talking going back and forth, uh, and it was between General and Dendi, and now they're the ones that have switched up the lanes a little bit. Curious if that has anything to do with what we're seeing here as Lil, what fully block. trapped in, is trying to eat his way through, but can't get past, and he's going to be frozen. So a good bit of damage there onto the Slardar, who's going to be taking the punches. And, well, 
We'll see if he's going to be able to get out. Slowly being torn apart and looks like Lil is most likely going to die. First blood. Going to DJ. But he does ensure that the lane's going to Klee and Underlord heading down there as well. And, and we just TP'd to the bottom lane. No one is mid. <laughs> What is happening? Yeah, and Denny is just and going back DJ again. is the one who's getting the CS. All right, he's happy. I don't know why that's going on as it is, but the Tusk trying to snowball away. Adam in some trouble, and the Lucent Beam ends up finding the kill. Oh, and then DK is just leaving the lane again. They're, they're, nobody's sticking anywhere. I don't, get, I don't get why they keep swapping it. They should just keep uh, Dragonite on the mid. They're losing a lot of XP from this. Yeah, and, and DK, like, Dendi is always going to change lanes more quickly, and I... I'm just collecting a couple of CS, that benefits Fnatic's supports. Universe, only level 3. Oh, General, he shows up trying to help Abed fully wrapped around upon, and... Well, he is going to be brought very low and killed off. General gets it. Five minutes in. Has a phase boot, so he wants uh, to be mobile. And this freaking is... Juggernaut's leaving again! Lacoste, what's going on? <laughs> I'm trying to find sense in all this swapping. They find another kill now onto Universe, not- At one point, you have both of your cores, Dragonite level 4 and Juggernaut, who's also level 4. Well, Universe gonna make the rotation now, looking for the stomp. He did actually have ulti, but a little bit too hard to make that work. He doesn't even get off the Firestorm before he drops, so... Okay. Navi, spot Adam moving into the river. He is gonna be caught there for the moment. The stun followed up by the Curse Crown, trying to get vision so he can snowball. Does manage to get away, but the stun's still gonna be there, and actually blocks himself in with the shards now, so... A little bit unfortunate. The Tusk gets brought down. Nice pickup. Underlord actually going to use his own little form of TP to go towards the mid lane now. Level 8 for him. And again, they're going to rotate the between the pain. Maybe Order's going to go for the kill. There's the pit. They've got the stun to follow it up. Abed might get Sonic waved here as they find the crush. And actually, they hold on to the Sonic wave for the moment. Abed trying to get away. Crystallize also kills off Envy in the top lane. So they find kills on both of the... Dark Willow bought the tome for herself and going to get the level 6 on the top lane. Level 6 right now on AA as well. Dendi is the one that's moved in towards mid. If they can force out a blink, maybe a chance for a kill. The snowball forward, but Dendi just blinks away. And they, they can't get this guy, I don't think so, at least. They're still diving forward for that. But what now, is calling game? it off, what is happening? Envy in some trouble now. He's going to try and go for the spin, the walk away. Abed also going to be crushed. They're chasing forward for this pit of Malice down on a two. They do get the Ice Blast it's on a several, and now the Terrorize out as well. But DK dead. And I, I have no idea what the game plan is here for Fnatic. Just run away. Go back to your base. But they might not end up being able to do that. This is bringing in pretty much everybody. Even Luna's going to start to show up. And General's just going to tank the tower for a moment. Envy. This is a classic Envy spot where he stands on enemy siege tier two tower. <laughs> and Lil, he's just gonna walk into him. Oh god! Sonic wave out of the freaking game. And turn the top tower. Dragonite has ulti up, but TP is already coming out from Underlord, so that means that uh, there's nothing he can do. He also used the Dragonite ulti. And the rest of the team is moving over this direction. They will ice spot blast. out the Willow with the ice blast in general. Not going to really get hit by it. Universe taking a bit of damage. They throw it on the Pit of Malice. The Root is going to be there. They're going with the Snowball onto LeBron. Do have the Dark Rift to get everybody out if they want to do it, but might decide to cancel it as they want to try and fight this. LeBron terms with the Bedlam. Adam going to fall. Fnatic again. Uh, he is 2,000 gold behind the Underlord. At 17 minutes in. This is really not at all what they were hoping to have happen. And top lane, they... You find this tusk, Adam, again caught, and most likely again killed. So waiting for him to reveal himself, and there's the punch. Meanwhile, down bottom, they're also looking for a jump onto Universe, who's being controlled, trying to TP out. Sonic Wave gets feared, gets killed. Dendi with another one. Is he about to get his level 2 Omni Slash? Full Orchid on Queen of Pain. They also have the BKB completed on Crystallize. They're actually going to TP back with some other heroes. Abed trying to get out of there. They're chasing forward for this one, but Universe just dead. Crystallize pops his newly minted BKB lane pushed in. 
Bottom, Dark Willow. They find Dark Willow and she's dead. So LeBron gives his life away. It just almost kills you through the duration of it. Glef is popped. They want this tier 3 tower. Yeah, they are sticking around for this one right now. Na'Vi, they know the problems that Fnatic ran into in the last one with closing out the game, and they are not falling into the same trap here. Pit of Malice down, and Luna hitting creeps, hitting buildings, taking it down. They have the dragon form on Abed. A jump forward. Oh, the silence. It's there. Onto the centaur. They throw out the Omni Slash, but not really doing enough damage onto the main targets. Slardar dies, but so too is the Centaur, and now the Terrorize comes out as well, and Abed, Fear, he's pit, he's rooted, he's going down. Another kill, and Na'Vi is looking dominant in this game number two. Hello, so she's gonna heal them up. They have no buybacks, like this is a two set of Raxes. 22 minutes in, 20,000 net worth, 4 to 16, and Na'Vi in complete control. This game is this game is basically over. I, I don't think that there's a way that they can come back into it right now unless Navi. So Navi move through the top side, and Envy just uh, he's just gone. Uh, stun comes out. They try and go for the ulti coming in from the centaur. He brought down well. He does manage to get away, but this fight might be about the end of it. They do get a nice ice blast. Not looking terrible. But now they're turning their sights on to the rest of Fnatic, and Chrysalis has popped his BKB. They turn on to Adam. He is going to die. Double kill for General, and still struggling to find an answer. I mean, there is still, like we saw before, an Omni Slash combo together with an Ice Blast. But Dragon Force is about to wear off, and they're back there immediately. And Dragonite has never looked this frail. Dragonite has. Market for him. They happen to get in range, so Crystallize walking there up towards the high ground. Starts to burn through it, and VDD turns on to Crystallize, starting to take him low. He is taking a good bit of damage, but not nearly enough, and now Envy in trouble. The fear is there. He dies wall spinning. Sonic Wave, Abed dead, and GG is called. Fnatic strike back, but not hard enough as Navi tear him asunder. Yeah, Navi is looking really good in game number two. They did not let Fnatic breathe. They did not give them chance to come back at all. But, but they are going to be able to group up and just like... Go down towers. Just, yeah, take down towers and just see each, Try to finish the game. Zone them back. That's just picking up the runes. Uh, when he gets back to the lane, they can't uh, really kill Universe. I mean, I don't think they can even kill him right now. They need uh, a lucky bounce plus, plus a Maledict. The Phantom Assassin is still level 2, so not, not enough damage. Well, now they come in as well, and they do have the Maledict on the Universe. Taking some of that extra bits of damage. They're chasing forward for this one on the Two LeBron. Charges. They're turning forward, seeing if they can take down the Universe as well. LeBron is going to go down first blood, drawn by Adam. Yeah, that was triple stack of wild potential. Unless Navi decides to dive uh, LeBron. Pointing where Tusk is. If phase shift is used, Tusk is gonna go on him. It's being pinged out. Dendi in some trouble. Snowball forward, looking for the chase, Three looking seconds. for the catch, and is going to die. So Dendi punished. That opens up the kill potential from them if he gets the good creep. That's a troll on the on the side. Dream coil, the movement in. You talked about it. Abed starting to fall down low. He is going to not quite drop. They almost get him killed, and they actually find it there with the illusion. And it's going to be the witch doctor that died that kills off Abed. Yeah, he is really tanky. I talked about uh, rotating the boat supports to take him down, and that's exactly what the ward is. I, I guess uh, Puck plays that ward right away. Yeah. But they did not uh, see it. Lil. Has a lot of farm actually with the face boots. They Eternal might catch Envy him. in some trouble. They use the fear there, but Envy still under fire as General chasing him down. They're trying to get it, and they do find a kill onto Envy. So a couple. They, they don't feel strong enough. The pressure of the lanes. Warlock is still level five, and their lineup needs more time. They need extra five to ten nice. minutes to come Dodge online. Nice there from Lil. They managed to find the stun after the fact. The Savage Roar is going to be there. Snowball save, but it's going to pull them closer to General. And they've shown up with Crystallize as well. Look at the damage. Crystallize going ham. Adam's down as well. They roar, but it's only to run. And there's some right clicks through. And now oh, they're going to let it go away now. But Fnatic 
Being rotated on Little, getting into vision, the swap away, the stun is there, the crush, the kill. He doesn't get off the ulti in time, but they do throw the ultimate and the fatal bonds. It's on to three. There's a lot of damage on the Navi. LeBron likely to fall, and so too will Lil if he doesn't get out of there. So they do get two in turn, but they lost the Visage. Yeah, the great counter initiation from Warlock. He got uh, level and a half from that fight, so uh, that means uh, level Lil? four fatal bonds. He just dies. Getting a little bit too fancy with that one. This opens up the map for Envy. Envy knows something is up. He's hiding, but he's taking the long way right into their waiting clutches. And there's the jump forward with the blink. Able to find it. Witch Doctor Ulti, he's gone. Try and take fights when they're not in Shadow position. Shadowblade on Beastmaster. Looking for the opening here on to General. He's Juke and Jiving, trying to get away. They get some vision with the birds. More than enough to snowball the follow in General. Well, the turn. Dendi here. They do have the Veil as well. Lots of damage onto these heroes. And they're able to walk away with General. Oh, the they cast. got the damage. The cast bouncing back and forth. They're in a ton of trouble. The secondary crush. Navi strike back. Abed in trouble. Also going to fall. And Navi hit him in the mouth. Ready, Fnatic, can they get there in time? Trying to save their carry, but they got the amp damage actually on the Ancient. So, Lil in trouble. They go for the block off onto LeBron, and looks like they're going to get the fear to break the TP. General, again, going to be in trouble. And Navi finally have gone a bit too deep here. The Dendi? root, he has no boots, but he might catch. Here, and it's going to be a movement in. Universe spots out the PA. Crystallize again, playing it safe. They're gonna go on him. Roar? They just decided to jump there. He does have the BKB available. Can he get off the time? The fear from the lone druid. He has no buyback. Happens. The zoning up he will they can't get close. Yeah, this is too scary. And They're going around. DD, they're in the area looking for the opening. General gonna be initiated upon. They have left a roll on the roof for the second. Eight seconds left until PA is back and they can make that happen. Good fear there. Catches on to the Slardar. So again, it's Roche starting to fall. Phantom Assassin is out, but they don't have the initiation now, so he's running low on mana. He just used Magic Wand, Clarity popped from Warlock. LeBron trying to take down a ward, and it looks like he is going to do that now, but the walk forward, Roar is there. Lil maybe thinking about swapping him now, leaves him to die. So another hero dead. And making these team fights a little bit harder. Lil getting initiated on. He actually swapped in his teammate. Dendi in some trouble, but not going to be in too much trouble. Crystalize is going forward for more now. And now the buyback, they're already there again for the Warlock. They blew him up at the start of it, but he gets the Chaotic Offering off. And now in some more trouble, that's going to be another dead PA. Snowball Ford finding Dendi, he's able to phase shift it, trying to jump away. Nami in trouble, and it looks like they might have to give up this rush. No, they jump back in again! General time! Yeah, DJ bought back. That was actually a dieback, so he's not going to be in the fight for 45 seconds. Visage has a buyback, does not want to use it, so they can stall with all the siege. But Witch Doctor They're coming in with the heals, the and that's going to be Roche. They're going to get it. General again walks back in. They're trying to take it down with Chris Lyle. The fear of the roar. They're able to turn it. PA is going to go down again. 60 seconds, and they take Roche. Eternal Envy picks up the ages, and Navi hopes and dreams being stale, stolen away from them. General goes back in. in for the jump. But he's in trouble. The axes, the maledict might be enough to bring down the Beastmaster. That was a dieback from uh, Phantom Assassin. Lone Droid has bear. Like, we will pull it back. They spot him out. Envy again alone. The rest of the team moving in, but maybe not fast enough. Adam is there as well. Do they decide to chase this one down any further? Universe here as well. Turns on to Dendi. Going to drop the coconuts. are bouncing back and forth. But the great stun from General. They're taking down Adam, but Envy's still living. They don't want to commit so much for just the Aegis. And Dendi trying to run, but will be taken down again. Envy was controlling Puck with stop summons. The coconut just does not do enough. And... They throw out a nice little dagger there, bringing down the bear very low. And now the roar to turn it onto the Slardar. Swap away, keeping him alive. The resummon is there as well. Tier 3 tower down very low here. Can they make anything else happen with it? The jump forward, Chris Lies trying to take it down. The fatal bonds on everybody! They're gone in an instant! And Fnatic looking to take buildings. They're not even dealing with Dendi at all. They want the racks, and then they want it back. That's or way go for more. too much damage. They have last second bear almost died. Uh, I want to see where it is. He actually sent him back to the base with the scr scroll of TP, used the flask on him just to 
feet as fast as possible, and these Rexes are going down. Navi does not have an answer for this. It is too much damage, too many summons, not enough in the tank. And that... <sighs> PA now thinking need to go back for the Battle Fury. Yeah, he wants to clear the waves. General getting ran down. They drop the Sentry Ward. They see him there and going to be controlled, going to be killed. It's... Uh, Fnatic have vision over everything. They yes. see every move that Navi make. Crystallize pinging out the Beastmaster. They have a sentry. Okay, they blow up one. It's a star. All right. They got to go for something. Navi looking for one last hurrah, one chance, and Fnatic may be anticipating that this is going on. They hit on the shrine. Scan, rather, Universe breaks it. There's going to be the roar right on the Slarna, right? The swap, they swap it out. They turn it back around with these Fatal Bonds. Crystallize trying to run away in the duration of the BKB. General going to be controlled. They jump out, but this is all a catastrophe for Navi. It was never going to be enough. Crystallize going to die. They buy back now onto the Visage, excuse me, the Vengeful Spirit, and GG is called Fnatic are going to be moving on in the playoffs. I like how GG was thrown into the old chat and uh, one of the heroes bought back. Like, he still wanted to try.